You're all in danger. Mom? Where? Sydney. I've seen this movie before. Happy, Happy New Year! Year. That's messy. Welcome back, gays, ghouls, and everyone in between to our YouTube channel, The, the Horror, Horror Bandwagon. Bandwagon. Hi, my name is Sergio. And my name is Cody. And we are boys for horror analysis. Criticism. And spooky, ooky. And sometimes kooky. Entertainment. And yes, did we take a little bit of a break? Maybe. We did. No one needs to know. It's fine. <laughs> I'll talk to the YouTube gods and change the dates. But we are back. We are officially back. We decided to take a little bit of a break so that way we can focus on our podcast. And speaking of podcasts, you can go over to anywhere you get your podcasts and follow us at The Horror Bandwagon. We actually just finished watching each Scream movie to prepare for Scream 5 coming out tomorrow. Yes, and along with some special guests. So head over there because we pretty much have like 10 plus hours of us just talking about Scream. But hey, what's one more video? Let's get to it. So just in case you've been living under a rock or just don't have social media and trust this YouTube channel for all media news, I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> I'm sure you're not. Um, the new Scream is coming out tomorrow, depending whether or not this video, when this video comes out, it could be out today. So happy Scream Day. However, we decided to just come on here real quick so that way we can react to the final trailer that they just released, along with giving you guys some of our predictions for the movie before it comes out. And stay tuned because this weekend we are going to bring you not one, but two videos. First, we're going to be seeing Scream on opening night and delivering you that evening a spoiler-free review of what our thoughts about the movie are. And then you can tune in over the weekend for us to give you a full review of the movie and all of our thoughts with spoilers. But make sure you go see the movie first. But before we get into the video, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell so you can get a notification for both of our reviews coming out this weekend. And leave us a comment down below on what your thoughts are. What what are your predictions? Who do you think the Ghostface killer or killers is slash are, depending on which is grammatically correct? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow, checking everything off the box. We got it done. All right. <laughs> now, guys, let's get to the nitty and the gritty with this final trailer. Let's get into it. All right. All right. Are you ready? I'm ready. This is also strange because we did a trailer reaction to the first trailer. We did. And Cody was not here for that. We had our puppers here to watch it with me. So it kind of comes full circle. We're doing it. We're almost there. Ah. There's certain rules to surviving. <sighs> a horror movie. Believe me, I know. They always come back. The killer is a part of something in the past. This one just feels different. <laughs> You're all in danger. Mom? Where? Sydney. I've seen this movie before. Not this movie. You said we were going to finish this. Go finish it, Sydney. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> Only in theater and special previews Thursday at 7 p.m. Get tickets now. Oh my god. Oh my god. We tried our best not to say stuff during the reaction, but they're just so this was a good trailer. It was. This was like such like it was full of goodies. The only thing that I miss is like in one of the previous trailers where um the ghost face says Sydney Prescott. 
it's, it's an, an honor. honor. And I'm but like, the way ah. he's the way he says so cool. honor. Imagine that's not even in the movie. Oh, I'd be so because, mad. Because it's radio, my favorite line. Radio Silence, who is uh, the, the who are the creators of this movie, have said that some of the trailers are misleading. Um, so we could honestly get a whole different movie when we watch this, uh, which I kind of get. There's some movies that do that, and then it's like we get a worse film. Yeah. So in Scream, you kind of have to because you can't just reveal the killer at every corner in this in this trailer. Obviously, like they know that we are smart enough to be to pick everything apart. Mm -hmm. I could not be more excited to see this movie tomorrow. <laughs> it needs to happen like now. I have had that like everyone's been getting. Like advanced screenings. One day we'll get there. One day we'll be invited. But I'm having such FOMO. But like this trailer, like, has me horny. Like, <laughs> the whole thing was like, yes. Oh my God. Yeah. I'm on like the edge of my seat. We're like not providing any actual value content <laughs> right now. We're like, yes, yes, absolutely. Right. Well, so this is our initial reaction. Let's, let's go through the trailer and we can break it down a little bit. <laughs> It's like making you watch it. There's certain rules to surviving. Dewey's dead. Sorry, sorry. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But do you think that this hospital scene is happening at the beginning or the end of the movie? I feel like hospital scene at the beginning of the movie would be like. No, no. So new. See, here's the thing. I could totally break this movie down if I can, if I could. But this will be then like an hour and a half video yeah this but, is gonna be me being like do you think this happens to Sergio like, who already well, knows what happened let, no I don't know <laughs> what happened but uh there are d d people have broken these down there's these trailers down and they do know that ah uh, I can't say anything <laughs> no I'm not gonna say anything but I think this may happen in the middle of the movie okay. I think but it, this could be a turning point in the movie. Okay. like something significant like maybe someone's fate is undetermined uh, switches the movie around. So, Evil uh, Dies Tonight. That's <laughs> also. Can we just leave the hospitals alone? I know. Let's move from move move past that in horror movies. Uh, hopefully, they make fun of it because you know this is a meta movie. But mm -hmm. make fun of the fact that there's so many horror movies that just have last or climactic moments. Oh my god! In hospitals, imagine it's so meta. It makes fun of Halloween Kills and uh, spoiler alert has Nev Campbell oh just my like god. sitting in the hospital bed with her if like they say stomach evil open the dies whole tonight. Time. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that would be amazing. Mom with Sydney. seen this movie before also i've heard that there are like brutal kills i don't think i'm ready there are people who no. apparently like like cringed not 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 in like a embarrassing way but it's like in your face way <laughs> which will not be my thing but no cody's not a fan of gore so this is definitely going to be him shutting his eyes yeah. also we stopped at a very very weird spot of judy hicks looking menacing oh yeah this is like the first time that I've seen her in these like in this clothes. I think she looks like she's in her uniform. Her, her deputy uniform. Yeah, deputy uniform. Uh, she's actually the sheriff now. Oh, interesting. So Dewey lost his job from being the best sheriff ever. Well, that's what they're trying to tell you is that he's like, you know, on his own. He has a beard. He's more rugged looking. He's, you know, he's, you know, he, he's the Jamie Lee Curtis technically Maybe he in this. Maybe and Gail will go rogue together. What I heard is that Gail is actually in New York because she has a morning show, uh, which we do see in the trailers. I'm not spoiling anything. Sorry. <laughs> Although she like she does. I just I want to come back to this. She does look so menacing here. This is very it's like trying to tell us something. We watched some video lately. I can't remember who made it that compared her to uh, to Pennywise. <laughs> do you not see it here? This is Pennywise. <laughs> I'm so sorry, sweetie. Oh my god, this does look like Pennywise. Yeah, <laughs> you just put the little like the white face paint on with little things. You're like, hello, Marley Shelton. You are fabulous. Okay, <laughs> don't don't listen to us. Look at us. Look at we're we're doing this. Looking at you. <laughs> Finish it, Sydney. Pause. The flamethrower. The flamethrower. I'm super excited. I do hear... Oh, my God. I'm, like, ruining everything. 
Um, but I do hear that it could be a like within stab movie. Oh, yeah. Like stab 14. Like stab 14 at this point. Stab rebooted. Um, but I hope not, because that would be fucking awesome to have an actual kill in Scream with Ghostface having a flame fucking thrower. That's yeah. awesome. I Again, I can't wait for the deaths. in there Because you forget, Scream also has to have amazing deaths. Scream 3 didn't have that for reasons on its own. But Scream 4 up the ante a little bit with the kills. Mm -hmm. This one, it, it's got to it's gotta make it. It's got to make it. I'm also like trying really hard to like pay attention to like what Gail is wearing to see like what scenes come in which order. Well, because we got that scene of her yelling at something in slow motion mm -hmm. and she's shocked. Then at some point she's wearing like a sweater t-shirt. Oh girl, I, I said it before, but you never open the refrigerator door in a horror movie. You just don't do it. Well, here it's Not like unless... a, a bad setup. It's like you're going down a dark stairs in the basement, and there's a random fridge in the middle of it. Why? Why? Who knows? Don't don't do it. Don't <laughs> do it. Bring a friend always. Um, I also kind of feel like that's gonna be a fake out. I feel like it's gonna be like a friend or something. Oh yeah. Um, sure. Again, these are my our predictions of the movie. With that being said, let's move on over to our predictions. Now, off the bat, my predictions are, one, I think one of the core three are going to die. Oh, I agree with that prediction. I don't count Judy Hicks because she hasn't earned it yet. She could possibly survive this and be in the next trilogy of things. But I think the legacy characters that we have so far are going, one of them are going to die. Yeah. I don't think they got the guts to kill all three. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I, I totally agree with you there. I, I think that you're right. One of the three is going to die. Who do you think it's going to be? I think it's going to be Dewey. I think the obvious choice is Dewey. I think it's going to be Gale. You think it's going to be Gale? I think it's going to be Gale. I think they're trying to psych us out because there's been so much footage of Dewey and not enough footage of Gale. So, I feel like they have equal footage in this trailer. I don't think so. It's mostly do it's, it's mostly Dewey. Do it starts off with Dewey. I feel like if anything, Dewey's like the prime person in this movie. But then we also have to consider that uh, that the scene in the hospital where someone is wheeling themselves down the hallway, it appears to be a female figure from behind who has dark hair, which could be Gail or Sydney. Imagine if the opening kill is Sydney. And she ends up. No she way. She gets brought back to the house. I don't think so. It's too. No, we need. Oh, you think that like we're we're starting in the midst of something, and the opening kill could be Sydney. And, okay, I see what you're saying. And then, or, or like the kill, and then she's like, she survives, but she's in the hospital. But Ghostface comes back to finish the job, a la Emma Roberts at the end of Scream Four. Uh, my other prediction is, I think Kirby, played by Hayden Pantier from screen four is making a cameo in this. Uh, I would be so happy. Just like on par with your opening scene, I think they're gonna bring back Kirby and that's gonna be the opening scene. That's my prediction. I have not heard it anywhere. I'm just trying to manifest it into the world. It's gonna be really hard to make predictions other than I think that one of my predictions is that someone is gonna be a secret love child of Billy Loomis somehow. I think it's someone's gonna be related to Billy Lumens. It's always like a half brother or cousin or something in that in that tree that ends up being the killer or just a, just a surprise that ends up being that like somebody is related to Billy Lumens. Billy Lumens is definitely gonna gonna be big in this. I also think, and I think you're in agreement with me, is that Stu Mocker is still alive. Mm, yeah, and we'll be making a surprise cameo at the end of the film, on the like big big finale. But again, we're also trying not to set our expectations too high. You know, I also don't want to be that screen fan that's like, I expected more from this. When it's like, okay, it, it's been a while since the last one. We don't have Wes Craven back, so I'm also going to try to push myself back down. Yeah, just like. Temper those expectations. Temper it because it's still, yes, we, <laughs> we do have directors that are amazing in this, but you know, it's not Wes Craven. 
and it could be different, but change is good. Change is good. So, I mean, listen, I, I'm just going into this knowing that I'm going to love it. This is my final prediction. I'm going to love this movie because I love, I've loved every screen movie so far and we will, we will see. I know we're trying to not set our expectations too high, but I just like this kind of like meta self-referential uh, horror is my favorite. So yeah, I it's one of his favorite franchises. With that being said, make sure that you like, subscribe, press the notification bell. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you follow us for all these new movies. We are finally back from our break and we are happy to be delivering more videos. Make sure to follow us on Instagram at The Horror Bandwagon. Or on Twitter at Horror Bandwagon. Know that. You can also leave in the comments any suggestions that you would like from us, like anything that you want us to react to, anything that you want us to cover or review. The t Scream 2022 is going to be our first review for the channel. Mm -hmm. Well, with that being said, we have been your source for horror analysis, criticism, and spooky, ooker, and sometimes kooky, entertainment. Bye.